Thousands of protesters from across the UK marched through central London to call for urgent political action on nature. Now, 350 charities ranging from protest groups to mainstream organizations like the WWF joined the Restore Nature Now march. People came with a list of demands including making polluters pay and improving support for farmers in an increased climate-friendly farming budget. British actor Emma Thompson led the march saying her message was for the government to stop being so deeply, deeply irresponsible. The march also called for an environmental rights bill to establish the right to a healthy environment in the next parliament following a general election next month. Protesters went down one side of Hyde Park, marching past Downing Street to Parliament Square, dressed in wildlife-themed costumes and donning quirky headgear and masks. Accompanied by songs, chants of Restore Nature Now, protesters called for climate change and nature to be prioritised in the election campaign and by the next government. The opposition Labour Party, which looks poised to win power in UK this election, has pledged to end new oil and gas exploration licenses in the North Sea and create a publicly owned clean energy company called Great British Energy. However, Labour leader Keir Starmer has, rather was previously criticised for ditching a pledge to spend £28 billion a year on green infrastructure. The Conservatives have watered down commitments on how they will reach the UK's 2050 net zero target through pushing back a ban on the sale of new petrol and diesel cars from 2030 to 2050.